All righty. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Ann Wilson. And with me for tonight in our alumni of Rizal Youth Leaders, we have Ramwen. Hi, Ram. Hi, Hi Ann. Good morning. Good morning. We have Miss Olive. <clears throat> you are on mute. Good. Maayong buntag, og maayong gabi, maayong buntag diri sa mga naa sa United States, og maayong buntag sa naa sa Pilipinas. Yes, thank you Miss Olive and we have Kim. Gumusta Kim? Okay ra tayo, maayong buntag sa tanan. Thank you so much and we have Kim. Maayong buntag. And we have Grace. Hi Grace. Hi, good morning, everybody. Good evening, Ate Anne and Miss Olive. I'm just in time. <laughs> yes, just yes, in time. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming up on board, everybody. If you are here in Facebook and YouTube, thank you so much for coming in here. I have invited a couple of friends also to come here because this would be beneficial for everybody that's into everything online right now so if you see my posts that are you know more alive animated with videos and with sounds and everything else we use canva and one of our experts is on our panel right now and we will be talking more about that and this is the session that we have our alumni of Rizal youth leaders leadership institute we have pledges every weekend and that means that's the result personal life education for growth and empowerment we are now in our session four this is with designing with canva again we will talk more about that but if you don't mind sharing share our live stream in youtube and in facebook because toward the end we are gonna pick three sharers three sharers that are going to win some giveaway prizes. And before I continue, I want to announce the winners of last week's Rizal Game Night. Did you enjoy that game night? Yes. I'm looking forward to the next one. So we had Kim Abarientos who won 700 pesos, a total of 700 pesos. Congratulations, Kim. And we already sent the money earlier or yesterday. Um, we also had Chris Leo Vera, so he won 500 pesos. Yes. And our last one was Ayam Sabiran. She won 300 pesos. Congratulations to our winner. So I have right here our viewers from Facebook and YouTube. Yes, there goes Chris. Chris, I just said you won last time. You won 500 pesos. Congratulations. I want to give a shout out to our early viewers. Again, if you can share our live stream, that would be great. But if you have registered, if you have registered, um, we are giving away international certificates to those who were registered. But if you want to stay put and want to still get, they can still register it right now. Right, Miss Olive? I will be putting yeah. in the comment section the registration link. That means you are able to join us tonight for the full entirety, as well as you are going to get an international certificate about Canva. Oh my gosh, we have $20 for our sponsorship. Mary Digital. Mary right here is a blessing to me. I have met her for new, I mean, less than a month with this digital business that you have. And we might invite her someday also to talk to us about entrepreneurship. Again, Mary Digital, thank you so much. I'm going to give you a blast right there. So it's her first time watching us, everyone. Our alumni of Rizal Youth Leadership Institute, Miss Olive can talk about it. We are the alumni of Rizal. And we have projects. So, Ms. Olive, you can go ahead and share it to everyone. Okay. So, uh, 
we have been since January 2021. Uh, we have committed to creating or or doing you know, four projects. We have pledge, which is all about offering webinars to to the youth. Uh, and that is twice a month to earn an international certificate of participation. We ask that the youth or the parents register their children show up on the day of the webinar and log in their attendance as we also full and, and you also have to fulfill the required required task and is as evidenced by a submitted work so the pledges are used for the webinars okay and johnson is even joining us today uh, and it's for free okay so we encourage you parents teachers coaches please invite your students to join us we also have our second project which is the result talks and the result talks is for everyone adults or the youth or even children and these um, result talks will be covering topics that affect or affect the youth status quo and as well as their future and and do we have anyone coming up um this month who will be talking about uh, who will be talking in our result youth uh, result talks so we have another business entrepreneur that will be talking about how they made it to success by, I mean, they, the, the friend that I will be inviting to talk in Rizal Talk um, amidst adversities, you know, she survived and succeeded here in Las Vegas. Nevada, she has her own school and a big business. So I invited her to share it not just for our youth so they can think i always have this in mind that your future starts right now you have to start thinking and change your mindset so in the future you can reap all the blessings and all the things that you have done at the moment and then in the future you would have a brighter future so we will have her story for the result talk thank you so much again miss olive and again i want to give another shout out to our not twenty dollar sponsorship and that is what you call super chat in youtube so if you the only thing you can give back to mary please subscribe to her channel and check out what she has in store in there all right so thank you thank you thank you thank you so another one i know we will be talking about canva just a little bit so i know we have 18 viewers if we can share that would be great grace right here will also be talking about our awards take it away grace invite them please hi good morning everybody good evening in the united states um i am inviting everyone to uh pick your group and uh, nominate a group, you know, if you know of somebody or anybody, a group or an individual who are making a lot of difference in their lives, no matter how small it is, no matter how grandiose it is, um, we would want to acknowledge, you know, we would want to acknowledge um, their contribution, especially for the youth. We are giving away the Rizal Award and we still have a lot of time because the deadline of nomination is still on April 30. So um, starting today until that time on April 30, um, we will be accepting nominations from anyone around the globe as for as long as um, they are worthy of the acknowledgement and they're doing something great for the youth. So if you want to uh, check on the nomination form and other, other related information about the Rizal Award, um, please like and subscribe our page, Alumni of Rizal Youth Leadership Institute, for more information. Thank you so much. Back to you, Ate Anne. Grace, oh. when is the... All when... right. Thank you so much, Grace. Uh, Ram, when do you have something to say, Ram? Yes, I want to ask Grace, when is the awarding ceremony for J uh, Jose Rizal Award? We target to give the award on Rizal's birthday, right, Miss Olive? That's uh, June 19. So that means um, we are giving the deadline on April 30 so that we will have um, ample time to uh, browse on our nominations and nominees rather and um, do something for them as well and prepare for that uh, very, very first Rizal International Award. Thank you for that, Ram. 
Okay. All right. So, Kim, I do the honors. I know you just came on board, but I know you know our speaker so well for tonight. So, if you don't mind, you will be impromptu giving, acknowledging our speaker for tonight. Take it away, Kim. Hello, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Ate Ann. Okay, our, our speaker for today, this morning, is actually a good friend of mine also. And we call him Kuya Ramwen. He is currently one of the looked up teachers in Inayawan in High School. And a very uh, successful youth leader also at the same time. Because through teaching, he's very passionate about sharing what he knows. And very, very uh, motivated to really, to really make sure that he makes an impact to the youth. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, please, with a round of applause, please allow me to introduce our guest, Kuya Ramwen, Ramwen Lorenzo Sanchez. Hi, thank you very much for that in introduction, Kim. And uh, thank you very much, everyone. So, Anne, we will start. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you again, Kim. All right, let's add this and share. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I am Rams. You can call me Kuya Rams. And we're here. We're going to talk about designing with Canva. So to start with, um, and please check. Um, I'll be asking you some checkpoint questions. So first, have you heard of Canva? If you're in Facebook, kindly click yes. A heart for yes and sad for no. Kindly, if you're in YouTube, you can click subscribe and like. Okay, may I see if... I'll uh, give you some time. Oh, we have, we have, yes, we have people who knows about Canva. Yes. So this uh, next question is, have you used Canva at least once? So in Facebook, you can click yes or no. Or you can click heart or sad face. Right. So many people have already used Canva. Uh, many of our participants. Next. Let's check. Do you want to know the basics of using Canva? So I think you don't want to because you already know. So again, heart for yes and sad face for no. Um, okay, still waiting. Yes, so uh, they don't want to know. Some people know, want to know the basics of Canva. So let's start. Um, they, actually, what I'll be giving you is actually just the very, very, very basic. And here it goes. So what is Canva and why I use Canva? Canva is an online design platform which offers ready-made design elements you can combine. For me, it is easy to use. Simple, simply click and drag combine elements and download your finished designs. No? Most importantly, it is free, free to use because um, I'm saying free because there are actually um, elements, um, pictures, and audio and videos that only... Uh, Canva Pro users can place in their presentation without watermarks. So last, I use Canva primarily for designing school-related things, programs, tarpaulins, and more. 
Creating a design requires knowing your knowledge, a knowing, sorry, knowing your colors. No? Knowledge, how colors contrast and complement each other. How to use the space you have to design. The size of the design and how each element com complements or interacts with each other. And use of the design space. And there's actually more that um, your art teacher can tell you. No? Next. Uh, these are the four points I will be discuss, uh, discussing this after this morning. How to how to use Canva, opening a design, basics in using Canva, tips and secrets, and do I earn using Canva? So let's start with the first, opening a design. So opening a design, let me go back to the home page. Opening a design, go to www.canva.com. Actually, I'm using Canva to discuss to you um, how to use Canva. So go to canva.com, then sign up or log in. You click log in or you click this one, sign up, and then click create a design or click recent design. So for create a design, one moment, because the live is still. So for create a design, you click here, oh, where, my, where the cursor is at, here at the corner, this violet thing. Oh, and you will be presented with canvas, suggested format so you have presentation poster logo a certificate instagram post video all of them are tailored to fit whatever platform you're going to use them especially instagram posts facebook a video um you have what else uh zoom virtual background but of course you still have to edit them in order for you to uh, fit them sometimes in the like for example in Facebook um, It's sometimes bigger than the picture is sometimes bigger than what you call this um, your Facebook cover their format here is bigger than that and then You have cards stories Instagram story you can create your resume here You have postcards infographics animated social media and more now let's go back to so that's how easy it is so i'll click create a design so what if i like a to create a big picture so i can create custom size and enter just remember this is pixel and then you can choose from four areas pixel uh, inches millimeters or centimeters I usually choose inches since tarpaulins here are printed by foot. So I can enter 36 by 48, which is 3 by 4, and then click Create New Design. And when you do that, Canva takes you to your uh, canvas. I think it's called a canvas. So your blank canvas. And from there, you can simply any of the elements we'll discuss that later up next so you can pick any of those elements so these are they are here they are there so they are also suggesting several areas so you have your recommended your recent designs and your presentations you can pick from already what do you call this um templates no all you have to do is to edit the words and the picture so these are ready made. What you call what you see here. That I'm scrolling on. So that's how many things you can click see all in order to see everything. Click see all. There. You can even search here. What if I want a Facebook event cover? There. So there's paid. There's free, there's free, yeah, paid, 
paid. So when it says paid, you have to pay for it. Then let's go back to our uh, main slides. Yes. So the basics in using Canva. So trying out templates. This one is simple. So how do I, what if I want a Facebook cover? Facebook cover for Valentine's. Fair. So I could create, I could choose any of these. Valentine's movie night. Uh, I love you more than cookies. Oh. And this one, are you feline what I'm feline? So let's choose this one. <clears throat> so what can I do? So I can, let's say, I'd add a date. We'll repeat this later. So this is how simple it is. It's already pre-programmed. I just have to delete that. I say February 14, February 14, 2021, 2022. So it would be next year. I could, in order to make it bigger, I can just drag here or I can click here. Anyway, I'll discuss that later when you have your, this time it's just actually templates. So templates also show up. What if I don't like my template here? I want to pick something else. Ah, I changed my mind. What if I want to, to do something about work from home? So here I can just click that. And actually there are six pages. Yes, what to do when you are working from home? You will apply six pages and that's ready made for you. Everything is already there. Everything is prepared. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually five already, eh? So it's there, you, you'll just need to create. What is number one? Set up your workspace. Number two, buy your own, uh, buy your own, buy a headset or headphones. Then what if I don't like the picture? So you can change that later. You can click here, create a text, um, buy a stereo, Headset. I say Bluetooth headset. So that was, that's what will show up when you save, when you print. And these, um, what you call templates, are already prepared, already ready for use and printing. Actually, you, they, uh, you can choose or you can opt not to edit them and just simply print them out. If that's your goal. Now, what if you want to start from scratch? So let me close these ones. So uploading files. Yeah, you just click here. Images. These are my uploaded files. Just be careful what you upload. Uh, these are the uploaded files. These are my videos. Yes. And then you have audio. So before it was just videos and images. Now there's audio. Then what you're going to do is, let's say if you're going to upload any media, just click here, upload media. And you can choose from five different sources. You have device, Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, and Dropbox. Um, I'll pick device. I can show you. Um, let's upload this one. Let's upload a certificate. Or let's upload this one. So it would, when you click upload, there, it would show up on this side, everything. And then you can just simply click it. And it will appear in your um, uh, canvas. And then you can go, let's say, to front. And then I can drag it on the side. This is the beauty of Canva. I don't have the, I cannot mess this up by deforming the picture or doing something to the picture. I just have to drag it on the side and it will be perfect. Okay. So next, so mobile, you can do this from your mobile. I'm not sure, I cannot find the 
upload from your mobile phone. Um, what do you call this? Here. And then you can do it from your desktop. And then using elements. So elements, this one. Elements. There are actually two, so I chose this two, these two to show you. So one is free. When you click free, this is the one that will show up. There are no lines. There are no, there's no watermark. When you click, when you choose something that has a crown on it, it's actually for Pro. And it shows up with a waterline, with a watermark on it. When you print it out, it also comes with a watermark. You'll be warned by face. Uh, but you'll be warned by um, Canva. Let's try it. I'll go present. Standard. Even present already have. If you want to remove the watermarks, you'll be asked to pay fifty pesos, for I think for per picture. And then I don't want to um, remove that. I just want to show you. So this is how. This is how it would look like. See, you can still see the lines. You can still see um, the word Canva on it. Don't worry, I'll show you later um, the free version of uh, the yeah the pro ver version of Canva. Next, this one's uh, this one is quite long. So changing the background. So let's pretend I re I'll remove the background so you'll see nothing anymore. Okay, so let's change the background. How do I change the background? Let's say I want something from my uploaded videos. Or let me say, let's just use photos. Uh, first, let's use the most simple one, background. Background. So I just click, and automatically, automatically, uh, Canva changes the background for me. I'll click another one. I can try this out. Space, background, the same. So what if I want to use a picture or a photo? From their collection I don't know oh, it doesn't work that way yes it doesn't work that way and it works this way you hold sorry sorry okay you drag the picture and there you go it still replaces itself no you don't have to adjust it you don't you what if I want to adjust it what if I want to only see the mountains? I can make it bigger. I can do this. And when I close it up, that's it. That simple. And drag the side. Then, what if I want to change the background using a video? So let's use the stream. So the same process, I'm just going to a drag from here to that. It also comes with a sound. So I can use GIF. But I don't like that. I want to see the bottom part. So I can drag it up. And there you go. So next is adding text. Adding text is simple. You can just click this one, this part. And you're given already a pair of texts. They are made already to look wonderful with each other. So perfect with each other. So uh, let me remove this one so I have space. Okay, so there, cue the confetti. It comes out. Now, what if I want to use this part only, the bottom part? So I can click that, click the upper part, and hit delete. So that's already removed. So I can type A R Y L I. Huh? So that's easy. Now, what if I want to spell out A R Y L I using that format? So uh, if you have any shortcuts to this, uh, I'd be I'd be glad to see it. In your in the live or in the comments later on. Now, what if I have a very long wor word or set of words to place? So I can do that. I can just stretch it here and here. Then I can type alumni of the Rizal 
Youth Leadership Institute. And what if I want to change the font? There, I can click that. I can click this one. Change it from uppercase to lowercase. There. And I can just cap it, capitalize this. What if I want this to be in one line? I can just go and shrink that and then drag until I can see it here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you already saw my first question for the raffle. Okay, there. So that's how simple Canva is. You just need to drag and you just need to, what do you call that? You just need to drag and then click. No. Now, next is adding a video. For adding a video and an audio, you have to be very careful because on YouTube, if you're uploading it to YouTube or Facebook, both platforms are now very strict when it comes to copyright. So any video that you see in that is in YouTube, it, from your favorite shows, from your favorite, um, what do you call that, movies, are actually copyrighted by their own um, creators. And that creates a problem because YouTube will, YouTube will mute your video or will not allow you to monetize your videos. So what happens is, what you can do is, you can search from other places. Like for example, I can use Pixabay, this one, Pixabay videos so i want i want to include a chime you just have, you just click here and download here uh, pixabay offers free everything free downloads don't click this one the top because this is from another uh this is from another stock this is from iStock. um you can choose from here they're all free you know you don't need uh you just need to log in using your facebook account and it's free you can choose let's say i want um i want balloons for a party so i get i actually get a lot of balloons or i want a cat cat so i get a lot of cats so one is actually staring at me oh, there if you're narrating about what uh, about cats so here, a leopard. When you see this, when you see green, this green, that means you can remove the background. I cannot, you cannot remove it in, you cannot remove the background in Canva. You can remove it in another app, in CapCut, in other, um, what do you call this, uh, video editors, video editing softwares. You can remove them there. Let's go back. Oh, I'm back at StreamYard. Oh, let's go back. Next, adding an audio. They're, they actually have an audio. Oh, I'm sorry. There's actually a pre-made video here, which is the same. You can choose. You can select whether you like to add, um, what do you call this? Whether you like to add the pre-made video. There's a time, how long it lasts, 16, minute, uh, 16 seconds. So I can add this one. So now it looks like a volcanic eruption. So if I want to talk about volcanoes for those uh, for teachers who are talking about volcanoes in science, uh, you can use Canva to create your what do you call that? Create your videos. Here, I can create way I can check with waves and many more. Next is adding an audio. Canva also comes with audio. So I can add this one and it will appear here and you will hear it. It runs for two minutes and 23, 23 seconds. But what if I just want to use a part of it? Where is it? I just want to use a part of it. Um, I, 
I get, I guess I cannot trim it. I cannot trim it. Why? So there. So I cannot trim the. Yeah, that's that's it. That's that's how you that that's how it works only. You can just move. Two minutes and eleven seconds. I think that's for the whole thing to load. Let me remove that. Next is you can actually add in YouTube. You have what you call audio library yeah that's i will show you there me okay so in youtube you have an audio library it is actually copyright free and it's what they call safe for users to use in their vlogs as background music to make it more interesting so next i have already shown this how to add use a picture as a background but I've not used, I've not added picture effects. So let's try picture effects. Uh, let me let me see this one. So picture effects. Here. So picture effects, simple. It's already here. I want to first let's uh, I want to make it appear cherry, like cherry there, duotone. I want to pixelize it there. I want to screen it, use screening there, maybe comic style, black and white. Next is, I want to slice it. Doesn't it there? So there are a lot of effects that Canva comes with. And we have glitch, we have color mix, we have bad TV, and many more. This one, you can only use background remover with Canva Pro. So I'll show you that. So they're, they're here, actually. This is my professional Canva, uh, Canva Pro. So create a design. Let's just create a poster. And let me upload something. I hope I have a picture here. That, I, yeah, I have a picture here. I have a picture here. Let's uh, let's use Grace picture. Sorry, Grace. And let's remove the background. A background remover. So there's no crown, meaning I can use it. And unlike using professional softwares. This act, this uh, Canva actually does a good job in removing the background, and it's all white already. There, so that's how easy. So this is where I this is where I do my designs. And I didn't show this to you because, in many cases, you will be give uh, you will be using your Gmail account. You you don't have a school account here in the Philippines. Um, for teachers, I used our debit account. No, I don't tell Mom Li Ling. Uh, I used the debit account to, um, what do you call that, to register. And it's actually free. Here, I used my Gmail account. And it's not free. So for students, you, have to, you will only have access to basic Canva, uh, what do you call that, features if you use... If you use what do you call that, um, your Gmail account, your Yahoo account, or a basic account, that are not if you don't use if you don't have a school account. Next, where were we? Uh, picture effects, Transfer transparency. So let's say I want to see the ocean from that or the background. I can just slide this one there, and you will begin to see that it's not that blue anymore it's more transparent and next is changing colors let's say i don't like blue wow i don't like blue and let's say i like red yes hi ann yes ann okay Anne. okay so I, let's say i want red so there i can click it i can change it I can change it to yellow. I can change it to 
whatever color I want. Let's say I, that's not the yellow I want. Let's say that's good. Let's turn it back to solid color. That's not the yellow I want. I want the I want a darker yellow there. I can adjust this and it will just take me all the kinds of yellow. I want green, blue, pink, and red, orange, anything. So just slide it. I want brown. And then when you're done and you want to have it transparent, you can just click here. That's it. Next is animating contents. I want to animate this thing. I, but you can't see it from here. So animate contents. Where is it? Oh, animate. I have to click animate. Yeah, where are you? Yes. Um, block. So there are ready-made animations here. Block. And I have what you call is breathe. Yeah, so this is zoom in, um, what do you call the, the other one, the PowerPoint and in Google Slides. And then we have fade. We have pan, enter from the right. We have rise, enter from the bottom. We have tumble. And again, you have other um, zoom, what do you call that? And it will prompt you to try Canva for free for 30 days. But if you again, if you have, um, you have what do you call that uh, school account? It's actually free for life. Yes, you have rise or from the bottom. You have flow. You can apply it to all pages. You can zoom. Apply to all pages. So all pages would actually look like that. It doesn't load here, but it will load using this present. Again, you go back to present. So Canva also has other features. Like I can present and record my presentation. I can. This is like screen share. Uh, this is like a screen record. Um, there's also a share link. You can ask someone to, to create a, what do you call that? To create a, oh yeah. You can, sorry, so a text came in. Um, you can click share link. You can create a theme, so someone would edit it for you. So like this one, you say RL. This is Raman Lorenzo's team. I can show you other teams. Where is, where is it? All your designs, uh, all your folders, classwork shared with you. So classwork, you can use it uh, for teachers. You can use this for class. Uh, don't ask me. I haven't used it yet. Uh, all your folders, content planners. So where's the one I said? Ah, here. Ah, yeah, here. So you have Team Tambo. Yeah, this was uh, when you use this, you will actually have um hard times. So you have another set of designs here. Yes. So they're here. So this is one I created for AP three, AP, yeah, two, week three for AP. I didn't finish this. You can, uh, I can just simply download the video later. Like, let's go back. Where am I? Here, sorry. Uh, then I can click present. I can click download. When I click download, I actually get a lot of choices, a lot of um, suggestions. Let's go back. So there's Kubi again. Change, uh, let's have animating on cropping and trimming videos. So what's nice about um, Canva is Canva allows you to trim your videos and then crop your videos. So these are two different things in Canva. So let me just place, let's say this one. This one is a very wide. No, no, no. Uh, let's go. This not that one. Oh, uh, yeah, this one. So let's bring this to front. Alas limang daan taon nang nakalipas ng bumisita sa bansa ang mga Espanyol 
at nagpabinyag sa katolisismo ang uy, hari ng Cebu na si Pumabon. Let's watch for a while. Ang kaganapan sa pagsimula ng katolisismo sa bansa. Alam niya natin ito mula kay Shout Chua sa Showtime, ako ay Pilipino. Makasaysaya nga ako po. It's Showtime! Inawit ni Hoyoy Bilyame. When Magellan landed in Cebu. Okay, so what if I would just want this part? Now this part, uh, I want to showcase only a part of, what do you call that? A part of the video. Um, let's trim this one. So this one I can trim. Where is that? Okay, so I just have to slide this one. This at the top. To the scene that I want to crop. So maybe I just want to talk about um, the arrival of Magellan. Shout, I don't want that. Okay, so let's say I want that. So that's the only thing that will appear here in your video. So you see, it also changed from three minutes to just 50 seconds. So what if... Let's change that one and let's take this one. What if I want to go to top, to front? What if I want only this head part? So this one comes free from Pixabay. I just drag this line here at the corner, this one. Drag this one, just drag and there and that's what that's all that will play you don't see the sides you want to place it sorry you want to place it there at the corner what if i want to resize the video simple just click here i just hold here and drag there so you got that next so what else? Um, basically, what if I want a video background? I think I wasn't able to discuss that a while ago. So it's again, simple. Ah, yeah, I was able to discuss this. There. Just, just drag it to the back, to the canvas, and it will, be, <clears throat> it will show up there. So before we proceed, and... And so before we proceed, yes. let me give this. Yes. Let me yes. give this. Yes. yes. Hi, Anne. Um, let me give the our first raffle. So I asked Grace the question a while ago. When is the awarding date for the Jose Rizal Award? So I need Anne because I need her to check the first person to give the answer. That would be oh, really okay. Easy. So the winner peso, will get 100 peso G cash. So the question is, when will be the awarding date of the Jose Rizal Award? When is the awarding date for the Jose Rizal Award? So anybody can answer. It could be from Facebook or from YouTube. What I'm going to do is whoever going to Whoever's gonna pop up first in my stream your chat box here would be the winner. All right, we have Hep Hep. Hep Hep Sering. Kehote. Kehote. Is it? All right. Please. Is that correct, Ram One? On June 19th? Yes. Awarding? Okay. Yes, June 19th. This year, and it's Jose Rizal's birthday. Hi, Kathy. So I have a friend who, one shout out to Miss Kathy C. from Don Vicente Rama Memorial National High School here in Cebu. Quejote, quejote. All right, quejote. <laughs> Got it. All right. So I don't know if you want to share your... Um, just just give me, send me the number right there in Alumni of Rizal Youth Leadership Institute. Send us a message of your number so we can send your 100 pesos Gcash. 
All right. Is that it, Ram? Yes. And I will proceed to the next. All Thank right. you, Anne. You're welcome. And uh, you'll be coming back later on. <laughs> next, let's go to tips and secrets. So always pick what complements and what contrasts. This is where um, your skills in your art class comes in. So you have to pick, uh, you have to picture your design in your mind and how how it will interact with the background. For this one, this is a t-shirt design I made. And it has to be clear if there is no, what do you call that, wraparound color in the text or borderline color in the text. This part wouldn't show, surely show up. If, for example, there is no highlight from or glow from results, the result picture, this won't actually, this picture won't actually blend or would actually blend with the background perfectly that you will have a hard time distinguishing what is the picture. Then if, let's say, I have a simple color or solid color um, borderline for the font, it would actually disappear with the other, what you call that, colors, color backgrounds. So you have to pick um, what complements your color, uh, what complements your design, and make sure your designs are crisp and clear. So uh, in order to do that, you have to, in Canva, I usually use, uh, no, not download. Um, in Canva, I usually use a huge, no, 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 sorry. Um, in Canva, I usually use big, what do you call that, backgrounds. I usually use this one, poster. It's loading. So I usually use the poster because it's that, that's already 42 centimeters by 59 centimeters. Or sometimes I use 10 by 10 inches or I use um, any size bigger than the design I want to make so that the design would also be clear when I transfer it. Now, when you download this one, Canva would actually ask you something, PNG. So if you have, yeah, this is one feature. If you have, yeah, I know Canva. If you have Canva Pro, you can actually slide this button from one to three. So one being the size that you chose, three being times three or three times the size that you chose. You can choose transparent background. You can choose to compress um, the lower quality, uh, the picture or the file. And when you choose to, where's that? Uh, when you choose to, sorry, again, Grace. When you choose to do that, I can do that here. This actually comes out um, a PNG at the uh, file. And this is how it will look like. No, I think I have a file here. Oh, this is how, by grace. So this is how it would come out. No, this is, this is how it would come out. It would come out transparent with a transparent background. Next. So that's how you make it crisp. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. Yeah, this one. Then when you download that, you can just slide. You can also download PNG, PDF, SVG, and many other features when you have when you have what you call um, the Canva Pro. So why are you not using Canva Pro? Again, I'm using the basic Canva because um, this is what many of you would have access to if you don't have a school, what do you call it, a school account or a school email. Next. Let's go to the next slide. Choose elements and styles that work together. Add fun to your design and make it your own. Research for inspiration to your design. So I researched this one in Pixabay, a cat with a bowl. And I thought, this is actually, when your cat is hungry, it's actually food on demand. It will not stop meowing unless you feed it. So therefore, it's food. this is food on demand, no app required. So it sounds a little corny, I guess. But uh, that's what I came up with using this picture. 
So research your design for inspiration. Research for inspiration to your designs. So you can go to Z Zazzle C Cafe Press. These are online um, <clears throat> platforms where I will also share to you later on my designs of here. Later on, um, you can choose. Let's say cat. So all products containing a cat will be presented to you, and that can serve as an inspiration to your design. There. They have a football, they have a color. Uh, these are all for sale around the world. Then next, still have next. Think of what makes you happy. So seafood diet, I only eat when I see food. Most recommended diet ever. So I have a, I have a pug here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have a pug here that says this is the most recommended diet ever. Then this is my bestseller, a pin. Called, called, uh, I created this last year. And it says COVID-19 survivor. Thank you. Uh, yes, next. Again, you have Pixabay. What if I don't, what I want to find is not in Pix, Pixabay. So I can use pexels.com. Again, this is free. Again, this contains video graphics, pictures, and many things. All you have to do is just search, let's say Africa. I'm talking about um, the great Rift Valley in Africa. So here, talk about safari, I'm talking about many things, many topics. I can just click there and it would show up. In Pixabay, I could also, again, I can I have shown you this already, that you can just research. Yeah. There are others, like for this one, this is iStock. And yes, it comes with a price. But of course, since it comes with a price, many of the pictures here are more professional made, more professionally made, and more attractive to look at if you're lo looking to make a professional video. And it also doesn't come with a copyright. Since you'll be buying the rights to that picture or video. Next. <clears throat> you. For YouTube contents, YouTube contents, use audio that are copyright free. The audio library, Ben Sound, and .gov.ph websites in the Philippines, .gov.ph websites are copyright free. So you can use them for uh, like this one. This is from a uh, PTV channel. So I can use this for free. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> then let's remove that. There is not one perfect app that can do everything. It's always a combination of one or more. Let me go back to our, uh, this one. And let me check this one. And let me go here. Is this the one? No, this is not the one. One moment. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 not the one. Wrong profile. Wrong. Sorry. So here. So if you noticed, I created this design for our guest last um, last February 20, Shane. I created this here. No, I created this here. But I did not finish it here. I downloaded this as... I downloaded this as what you call that. I downloaded this as a PNG and then went to PowerPoint. I don't know if I say that. I still have the file. <clears throat> went to PowerPoint and inserted these videos. Edited the videos here also upload, sorry. Inserted this, these videos of him. Oh, they're not here. Ah, oh, they're not here because it's not video. So here. So inserted these videos of him at the back of each of these white areas. When it's white here, it's actually transparent. If you did not place anything, any shape, any element, any text at the back, it's actually it would actually come out transparent 
in your design. Let me see. Downloads. Uh, here. Where is that? Uh, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? I guess. Ah, uh, here. So this is how it came out. That is transparent at the back. And yeah, it, it actually took me four times. Yes, it will actually take you a lot of times because you'll have to perfect the color, the, the highlight and everything. In fact, there is not a time using Canva that I downloaded it just one time and it's already perfect. Most of the time, it, I, it takes me two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight downloads. Yeah, like this one, <clears throat> like our logo. Took me eight, 10 downloads, how many of that? Eight downloads in order to make it what I wanted it to be, no? <clears throat> and then how, how did it come out? Uh, what, what was the product? So this is the product of that. I think you already saw that in our uh, page. I don't have to show it to you again. So that's, that's that. Next, find pictures look different on your, on your computer and when printed. To get the perfect look, you have to do trial and error. So if you want to print it out, you have to uh, uh, use a trial print before actually creating your final print because it would look different. The blue would look different. The pink would look different. And anyone who's asked to, who's been printing tarpaulins or school programs would tell you that it's different. So that's something that you have to put into your mind before you print it out. So a dark picture would come out darker. A blurry picture would come out more blurrier. That's why it's important to be crisp and clear. Anything else? If it, like this one, this would actually be more, uh, this, would, this would actually be blurry at the back of your, what do you call that? The back uh, in a paper. The same thing, the fine print, the fine white print at the bottom, which says J. Rizal International, zeal of, in, zeal of achievement, would also be a non-existent because it's white in a white paper. Yes, next. Yeah, we're already, we're already one minute, uh, one hour and three minutes. Oh, and I have another raffle. Oh, I'm, I forgot All to right. show you my... Yes. Oh, yeah. I will show you that later. Okay. So, get ready. You can answer in Facebook or in YouTube, right? So, question. What is the name of Russell store in Sazzle.com? I don't even... Whoa. Do you remember? <laughs> Jeez. Facebook or YouTube to win 100 pesos. No. Yeah, I already showed it. Showed it a while ago. Oh, wala na mino ang mom oi. But I know. I know. Let me see. Type it down right there. Shout out to those who are still here. And if you have registered later on, Ramon will tell you what would be the output of our Yes. Uh, pledge for today. No, oh, they they haven't responded it yet to it yet. Sorry. Do we have anybody? No. Do we know? Hala. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see, but it's actually on the the answer is actually on the screen. <laughs> we could not see it clearly. Yeah, I I cannot see it, see it from my end. Yeah, so any comments? We don't have anybody. Yeah, I can go down. So I can take it to a trip. So this is my store. So still the first to the first to enter the correct okay. answer was to win 100 pesos. Yes. So this is my store. So this is where I put uh, most of, uh, actually most of my designs. So there are actually what do you call that? 10 pages. 
to this one. So there are actually a lot to choose from. And to make it simpler, we can go to collections. There's your collections. Write it down now, guys. You can see it there, Ramwin's page. Yes. Type it down. So there. So you have mugs, you have um, you have face masks. I created this for Halloween, scary face masks. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Kim. Kim, Kim was another winner. winner. You were a big winner the last time, Kim. You won one seven hundred <laughs> already. It's all good. Make sure you are a sharer. You share so, this live stream. Yes. So, and thank you. Yes. So that's my store. And that's where all these designs are. And side hustle. So, this is the part where I will tell you how I use it. So, aside from just making my own designs here in Canva for school use, I also use it for side hustles, or in our dialect, or in our language, in our culture, we call it sidelines. So there is not one, um, I think I did not delete this one. Wait. So there. Aside from side hustles, um, aside from creating my design for school use, I also use it for my side hustle. So how much did I earn for, this store was running uh, since, 2019 this is the store i've been using so earnings so <clears throat> for one year i've already create i uh, have six uh, 17 dollars and there's a 46 dollars coming in for history there so this is Zazzo. since i moved to Zazzo 2019 because cafe press does not cater to outside the u.s uh the designers and creators so this is it, uh, a non-contributing fee for, uh, yeah, 1-12-2019. There, so I haven't, I had a bulk order here. Where is that? Uh, I forgot. So there. So this will wrap up our discussion. So take home tasks for elementary here in the Philippines using Canvas text function just write your name and add a background and other elements that you want to add. Then for high school, using Canvas text func function, choose one of Rizal's quotes and create a poster. Yeah, you can just create using the 20 by 4, uh, the poster I showed you a while ago. Then for college and adults, or high school, senior high school, junior high school, that goes to high school, for or middle school in the US for college using Canva and other another app create a short video of Rizal's poem A Josefina with sound or voice over. So this is a requirement to get your what do you call that to get your certificate. Deadline would be next Friday, March 12. In time we could announce it and we can share this video with you during our next a pledge submission link here http bit.ly riley canva outputs so this is actually this part is actually um what do you call that case sensitive so meaning it has to be all caps then for can uh, for those who are in the elementary in the u.s miss olive actually our for our Founder actually requested that um, there is a different tasks for them. So let me call in Miss Olive. Hello, and may I also learn today how to share <laughs> share screen here in um, StreamYard. So Ramwen, uh, what I can say is that. What you have shared today is really a very, you know, big, big, uh, how do you call this? Online digital art design. So uh, earlier, I think I was like, oh my goodness, this is so big. I don't, I don't even know where to begin. And Johnson just decided to create a Facebook, you know, output. And he already posted it in my personal account. So I don't know if that will that is good to go, but 
I do would like to mention that for those who are watching uh, here in the United States right now, if you're watching, I was making this poster as Ramwan was working in Canva. And I think that you guys can do so much better. So this is my output. I encourage you to do something similar or even better. Hap, if you're listening right now, um, I know Zoe is very capable of doing any of those that Ramwan was teaching earlier. So it's all up to you guys. Uh, one thing that we are very clear is that we try to keep it simple but relevant to uh, our topic, which is Dr. Sarizal, so that we can actually upload it in our Facebook page and use it for, you know, to pro use it for promotion. Okay, so if you have attended PSK or Paralan sa Consulado, that is a project by AFTA or the Association of Phil Filipino American Teachers in America. Um, together with the Philippine Consulate General of New York, we actually teach Jose Rizal there, you know, as a subject and as a training program. And whatever you do tonight, we might use it for the promotion of Rizal within PSK. So, Hep, if you're listening right now, and Zoe, I give you the liberty of creating either a poster or even a short story, because Ram, I want you to know our viewer and our attendee and registrant from the United States right now also submitted the work uh, two summers ago for the Jose Rizal Leadership Training Program within PSK. So she's quite familiar with what we actually do. Okay. And again, thank you, Raman. This was so beautiful. I, I really like the whole idea that we are differentiating the output of the students. Okay. Go back back to you, Anne. All right. So actually, yes, I have copies of those. Uh, for some reason, it was being shared to me, copies of those result PSK um, um, outputs. So Yes, I hope we can invite more students to participate within our free webinars so they can also use it um, when they're in school. And yeah, do we have, so is that the end of our presentation, Ram? No, I still have one question. Oh, no, one more question. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We'll, 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 leave, we'll, leave the, uh, we'll leave the floor and give it out to you. So again, recap the home tasks for our um, participants that will be getting their certificates, please. So here, I have a challenge to myself. If this video reaches 1,000 views in YouTube, in YouTube, I will do a short, short tutorial in making a one-minute video with Canva plus another app. So I'll be doing, uh, maybe I'll be doing, I'll be teaching a tutorial using uh, the design I made for Shane, no, Shane Saloria, or this one, using this one, where is that, uh, for Gracie, Grace, where's Grace, oh, Grace is not there, uh, there, uh, how do you do that, uh, happy birthday, that's, when was that, last month. Okay, so when this video, if this video in YouTube reaches 1,000 views, wow, that I hope it doesn't take years. So next, what's next? Yes, there's Kubi again. Kubi, and <laughs> okay, the question is, how do you get, what do you need to get Canva for free? Oh, again, how do you get Canva for free? And what do you need to get Canva for free? Come on, write it down in the comment section. We still have 16 viewers. That's still viewers right there. Thank you so much Ooh. for staying with us. And um, if you have any requests on what kind of webinars or what you want to hear and see from us, you can also comment it in there. Send us a message. All right. Um, sign up. You actually need to sign up for both. But... There's this something that you need in order to get Canva for free. 
create your account. What else? That's still the same as signing up. Sign up what on the else? website and not use Canva Pro. Is that it? Yeah. What do you need to get Canva for free or Canva Pro for free? Sorry. <laughs> I meant Canva Pro. Uh, you're looking at the answers. Let's see. You just have rephrased the answer. I need to know what I need in order to get Canva Pro for free. Yeah, I want to know too. Me. <laughs> I know, but I'm not using it. I'm using it. I'm paying for how much is it if you have to pay it there on one? Because I am paying, I think, let me. Oh, look at my subscription. I think it's $19. $19. Yeah, like that, yes. yeah. Can I share that like account? <laughs> sure, sure. Let yeah, we can share that. You, ah, you only need actually one. Yes, Yang. Yang, yes. yes. What you do you need? need a school account? account? Yes. Yes, you need a school account or an educator's wow. account. Mm. Congratulations. Congratulations, Yang. Yang, yes, Yang, I think is, is Yang your batchmate? I think Yang is your batchmate. Oh, no. So these are the rates for Canva. We are not sponsored. But Canva, if you hear us, we're promoting <laughs> you. So for images only, it's $4.99 only for images. But if you want the pro, it's actually $12.99 per month. But for a year, it's $119.99. That's too much money. Wow. Wow. I think yep. I have an account for my school also, but I'm not using that for my personal use because mm -hmm. we don't know. <laughs> they, are, <laughs> they are gonna see again, especially if you're in the US, we are very keen with copyrights and all that and uses yes. things. So yeah. if you have um a school account, yes, you can use that in my end. I'm gonna use it if I'm gonna present some lessons and other things. For my school, but if they see that all of your stuff are all personal, I might get in trouble. So I would rather pay. <laughs> all right. So we have a winner. Yang. Yes. 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 All Yang right. Mangasita. Yes. Okay. Yang is also a teacher now. I think uh, she was around the same time you guys were at Cebu Normal University. Correct, Yang? You can you can type in the comment section what year you graduated so we can make an estimate. Use my debit account and sign up. Correct, correct, correct. All right. So teachers, I see a lot of teachers in here. Please invite your students next time. There you go. We also have Miss Precious Amira Anthony. Use yes. the debit account. So please share it to your students so you can also share the knowledge. And um, free, free um, webinars to our students and the youth. Okay. I just saw your yes. message. Is that it? Ramon? Yes, and that's it. That's all of it. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Ramon. Let's give it a hand for Ramon Sanchez. Ramon Amazing. Sanchez. I'm, I'm curious, Rams, how long did yes. you have to learn the many, many ins and outs of Canva? Because that was a lot. I could not keep up. Well, you, uh, if you want to learn Canva, if you want to learn more about Canva, you can actually go to YouTube University. Yes. <laughs> it's easier there. Yeah, Tutorials so how long, how, how long, Rams? How long have you been doing For me, it Canva? wasn't that long because I was already using Photoshop before mm -hmm. this. And mm -hmm. I was already using Power Director yeah, um, yeah. for this. So it wasn't very long. To know that yeah. when you click this it appears somewhere or when you drag this you just have to adjust though because yeah. it's a little bit different in canva yes no? yeah so, so uh, before you say something and i just when i invite our whole team i really plan to ask our principal to ask you know to have this team teach my school my the students and the teachers to teach them in a month of may and every week we can have one topic like for example we can have like just posters okay for the first week and then then a different animation and then you know like you know just one topic each i know my school is very perceptive and they would be very happy to have us guys teach the mm -hmm. students and teachers of my school. 
Yeah. That would be a good, this would also be a good project and what we talk in the background, Miss Olive, about after school programs for other students in other countries as well. So mm -hmm. that's, that's really great. By the way, Canva also have, has a mobile app, just like what Ramun said, and yes, that's what I use all the time. It's easier presets in there. But if you want you to hone your creativity and, you know, designing and all that stuff, you have to really use a desktop so you can see the whole picture, you know. Mm -hmm. But for quick and easy access, you can just use their Canva free, Canva. And I, I was familiar with that also when I have been in YouTube for like almost four years now. And I use that for thumbnail for um, when you have your YouTube pages. So that's, that's mm -hmm. easy. I use it for free. But now that I'm using it a lot and the business side of life, then you can also use that for promotions. Because I mentioned that to the business side because earlier our super chatter, um, Mary, um, is into business and they post a lot in Facebook and in YouTube and they use Canva for that. So I invited them for this one. All right. So any more, any more um, announcements? Yes, we still do have announcements. Ooh. Just a quick one. So um, for all of you viewers, teachers, students, and parents alike, uh, we're trying our best to make March a digital month for our audience, for our registrants, and for the youth. So if you can, ah, uh, this is also one thing. Anne, are we ready for the di digital sketching next week? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so guys, we'll try our best it's to gonna offer. Happen. It's uh, going to happen. Okay. We'll try to offer the next pledge for this month because we have two pledges in one month. We will try our best. The second one will be digital sketching. So if you have interest in digital art, digital sketching, and by the way, I'm really interested, uh, please watch out for the second pledge of this month. Okay? That would be all for me. When all is it going right. to be next Saturday? Yes. Um, let's see if it's next Saturday. It's either a Saturday morning or a Saturday night. It's always just going to be a Saturday morning or a Saturday night for now until something comes up. Um or with our team you know and yes yeah, so again yeah. thank you so much for watching everyone stay safe out there to everyone that's watching in facebook and in youtube ramwan thank you thank you so much and i also want thank to you, extend ramwan. thanks to ramwan if you see everything art wise design wise logo promotion it's all ramwan guys for you. free so thank you so much, Raman. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your blessings and knowledge to our team. We really appreciate that. Like anything, even with how to put some links, Raman, we're going to send a link to them or we're going to post it. Everything on that department is Ram One. So again, if you are in our pledges and you're willing to help out in Ram One and you want to be part of our team, you are most likely welcome also. Like you can share your expertise. If you want to have a talk, if you want to share, you know, teachers back in the Philippines and you know, and how paano gumawa ng module, ayan, gawin natin yan, pwede po kayo dito, anything. Anything for as long as um, others can learn from it. All right. And don't forget, submit. If you have anybody, you know, anybody or a group um, that would you wanted to be awarded because of the splendid things that they have done during this pandemic, please go ahead and um, check the nomination forms and our pages. But anyhow, it's evening, it's nighttime here, almost 11 o'clock here. Thank you so much, Miss Olive, Grace, and I know Kim's on the background and the rest of the other team. Thank you so much, and I will. We will see you soon. Stay safe. Bye, guys. All right, team, stay for a little bit. Bye.